Hello and welcome back to another Dinosaur Geek video. Today we're going to share with you five awesome facts about Allosaurus. So let's get started. The name Allosaurus comes from the Greek language meaning different lizard. This was the name given at the time of its discovery due to a very unique feature and that was its vertebrae. Scientists at the time were fascinated by this. Why? Well, Allosaurus's vertebrae were concave on both sides and contained shallow cavities which gave them a similar shape to that of an hourglass. These cavities in shape didn't make the bones very strong but made them much much lighter and this type of bone structure can be found even in today's birds. Who discovered Allosaurus? The first Allosaurus was discovered in Colorado, North America in 1877 by paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh. There were only a few fragments of this dinosaur, but it caused quite a bit of confusion at first. Two years later, a more complete skeleton was found, but not fully examined until 1903, and it turned out to be one of the most complete thoropod fossils ever found. In 1991, a discovery of Allos Allosaurus resulted in the finding being named Big Owl. Amazingly, this at the time then became the best preserved Allosaurus to date. The fossil fascinated scientists as they were able to examine and conclude that the living Allosaurus sustained a great number of injuries and infections. Scientists stated that Big Owl was only 87% fully grown and the injuries which included toes, ribs and vertebrae healed very poorly and may have indirectly led to its early death. The fossil was so well preserved that scientists could tell it had developed infections from, it, from the trauma of its injuries. When did Allosaurus live? Allosaurus lived on Earth between 145 and 155 million years ago during the late Jurassic period and one, was one of the largest predators of the time. Allosaurus have been found discovered in the famously rich Jurassic fossil area of the Morrison Formation, which is in the western area of the United States. Fossils of Allosaurus have been found in the US states including Colorado, Montana, New Mexico, Oklahoma and South Dakota, as well as in the other country, Portugal. How big was Allosaurus? Allosaurus was a large predator, and the largest fossil found of an Allosaurus was Big Owl. Big Owl was between 12 and 13 meters or 39 to 43 feet in length. It's also estimated that he weighed around 1500 kilos or 3,300 pounds. Using the theory that Big Owl was only around 87 percent developed, researchers have concluded the range of an Allosaurus weight could have been between 3,100 and 4,400 pounds or 1,400 and 2,000 kilos. Allosaurus had a short neck, a massive body, and very powerful arms and claws. The forearms were shorter than the upper arm, and each claw was strong and sharp enough to tear open the soft underbelly of any other dinosaur. Allosaurus had a claw on each of three fingers of both hands, and used these claws to attack and hold on to its prey with devastating effect. Their bodies were balanced by a muscular and long tail, with estimations of the amount of vertebrae in the tail between 45 and 50, and the tail was useful for lashing out at rival males too during mating seasons when males fought for the attention of females. The Allosaurus skull was m modest in proportion compared to other thoropods of its size, their jaws had 14 to 17 teeth on both top and bottom, which were each as sharp as a steak knife. The teeth were shed easily during feeding and were continually replaced, similar to the way sharks replace their teeth today. Scientists have stated they use their skulls similar to swinging a sword open-mouthed and from side to side to make sure its teeth would do the maximum damage to its prey. The thought behind this was because Allosaurus had a bite that was weaker than modern day predators such as lions and crocodiles, so it needed to attach and kill its prey slightly differently. Its vision was also thought to be better than any other dinosaur, as its eyes were in the front of its head, meaning it was likely to be good at working out distance. Good vision was counterbalanced with poor hearing, 
Allosaurus had crocodile-like ears and was only able to hear low-frequency sounds. Finally, Allosaurus's sense of smell was well developed, which allowed it to be able to smell its prey from some distance. What did Allosaurus eat? Allosaurus was an active predator of other large dinosaurs and can be described as a pure carnivore. There have been some dinosaur fossils of sauropods, such as Stegosaurus and other orthopods, which shows clear evidence of Allosaurus bite marks. There is evidence in Stegosaurus fossils that shows that they were bitten by an Allosaurus, and there have also been Allosaurus fossils showing puncture wounds made by a Stegosaurus tail. This gave scientists proof that Allosaurus hunted other dinosaurs. Furthermore, scientists believe that they hunted in packs to take down larger prey, as a single Allosaurus wouldn't have been able to take down a large dinosaur such as Diplodocus. Like the Tyrannosaurus rex, Allosaurus was also likely to be a scavenger as well as an active predator. They will simply choose the best route to get the maximum amount of meat and protein, and if that means feeding off a dead dinosaur, then that is the easiest way to get a full meal. How fast was Allosaurus? Allosaurus's legs were not suited for speed compared to that of other dinosaurs such as the T-Rex, but it's still estimated to have a top speed of around 30 to 55 kilometers per hour or 19 to 34 miles per hour. It is also believed that Allosaurus may have been able to swim if needed too.